Hi everyone, a reading on what currently is arising or wanting to come up from your Earth Star Chakra. Um, um, I was doing a really nice introduction, uh, what the Earth Star Chakra is, what it does and etc, etc. I will upload that separately as I was recording at 4K and my camera then shuts off after six minutes. Which I didn't know. <laughs> Hi everyone, Angelina Sparkling Diva. Uh, we have three choices for the reading. And uh, again, if you want to know more about the Earth Star Chakra, which is not on the body, but below your body, under the ground, then please, uh, by all means, watch this a uh, short video, six minutes, then a cut off <laughs> uh, that I did, and I will explain uh, an awful lot in there. So uh, let's see, we have numbers one, I, I'm not using crystals, so you will have to just feel into it and just go with this. Numbers one, numbers two, and numbers three. So take your time, pause if need be, and I will see you at the uh, set of your choice. Right, numbers one, welcome to your reading. Uh, your first three cards, we have color cards, and I unfortunately bought them in Dutch at the time, but not to worry. This is gloss or shine, shimmer. This is coral, coral, oh my God, tongue twister for me, and silver. <clears throat> and shine is about discover your shine. So um, what makes you shine? What lights you up? What is your thing in life, your mission, your purpose, your passion? And if you find that, which is related to the Earth Star Chakra, uh, because that is about leading you to where you should be and then what you should do this lifetime, then you also get this shine, this, this shimmer about you. So it's all about that. And uh, coral is allow abundance and synchronicities into your life. But look at this, especially this one, because this is so sharp. But yeah, the other ones as well, actually. Uh, it's, it, it makes me feel like they are opening up and, and expanding and then radiating outwards like sunlight, like suns, right? Little suns with rays around them. So that's also what you do when you yeah you, um, find your thing in life your purpose your path your goal your mission your passion then you open up your heart opens up your entire system open up, opens up you start to shine and then you get that gloss again right the shine and this is also uh, at the same time i feel the opening of your heart because then Everything radiates out from your heart. Love and light and, and compassion and kindness and, and give and receive. And everything starts to flow when you're in that state. So that's what wants to come up for you right now. And then Silver says, be steadfast. So don't be like uh, you're busy with this or you're feeling it or you're trying to meditate every now and then and then you lose it or you're starting to do something which is actually your dream you can feel it you know it you sense it but then it's like nah nah, nah I, I, I don't know i can't do it it's not for me nah i'll start tomorrow it's it's it, that kind of stuff right don't do that follow through stay the course that's what silver is about and again <laughs> is shimmery, shiny, gloss, right? Shimmering and shining. And it's also very feminine, right? Uh, gold is masculine, silver is feminine. It's intuition, it's, it's yeah, the moon and, and all that. So uh, that's your first uh, three cards. And then we have your three tarot cards. We see the king of wands and the four of wands and the Four of Cups. Now here you can see, um, yeah, the King of Wands, he is the king of that suit, of the wands of, of action and passion and inspiration and creation, manifestation, and 
So it's having mastered everything there is to that, to, to, to bringing things to life and to exuding that energy as well. Right? Look at the glow around him. He is exuding that and touching other people with that. And, and that's, again, back to that shine, that gloss. Because when you shine, you automatically also touch other people. And you basically then inspire them to also maybe start looking for their passion in life and their thing in life. But this is about you, what comes up for you. You, that's what wants to come up is the, 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 the power, that vast, colossal power of manifestation, inspiration, that fiery passion of doing and action and, and, you know, just it's almost like cosmic powers. Look at it, how it twists and twirls and is vast. It's, and that's what wants to come up from your earth star chakra. And uh, so just go with that. Go, allow it to do that. And, and uh, basically what I said with the color cor coral, um, to allow synchronicities and abundance into your life. And then you also start um, radiating that out, right? And um, and follow through with it. Don't don't give up because then you don't get to this stage. He doesn't stop either. He's not gonna think like, ah, oh, blah. Today I'm having a bad hair day. I'm not gonna do anything today. You know, you can have fun. You can have you can rest and recuperate. That's fine. But don't give up on your mission, on your dreams and your goals. It is certainly not now, now that this is wanting to come up so strongly in you. And and we see that here as uh, right in the four of cups. Like this is the that feeling of I'm bored, I don't know, I'm I don't like this, maybe I can't do it. Nah, I will I'll start tomorrow. Nah, it's too difficult. It's I, I it's not gonna work for me. That's that that feeling is with this card. Don't do that. If you feel that you tend to go there, right, in that direction, then try to snap out of it and get into the ones four, of, which is about uh, having fun, enjoying life, being playful, lighthearted. It's harmony, it's balance, it's uh, socializing. Right? It doesn't always have to be serious to be here. It's not serious at all, because when you are very serious, and, and like, uh, I must do it, I have to do it. Things don't flow, right? So you do need time to rest and recuperate, but and also time to have fun and play and go out there, right? It's not all just do, do, do. That's the old 3D. That doesn't work. So it's also very important to have play time, to have fun, to hang out with people maybe and, and enjoy and maybe party a little bit and... You know, not to excess. I'm not uh, trying to tell you just go out and get blind drunk or anything. But partying doesn't have to be about alcohol, you know, or just a little bit is also okay. In any case, that's your own thingy to work out. But just that. And your last card that we have, I'm going to stick it in right away. We have Commander Ashtar. And um, you can pause and read the entire card if you so wish. Uh, I always love Commander Ashtar. He wears this blue, shiny, shimmering suit, like a metallic kind of suit. And in a way, that reminds me of this card again, the gloss, the shine. But um, I don't know. I feel very connected to him. And... Um, it, this 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 card coming for you in this reading now is that uh, telling you that um, you well basically what it says at the bottom you are blessed for this card of expanded enlightenment uh, uh, is a card of expanded enlightenment and a call to intergalactic service and um, he's inviting you to have a a, a broader vision perspective, not narrow, not limited, not, uh, yeah, but more, is that divergent, a wider 
view and perspective, like, uh, yeah, seeing the bigger picture of things as well, right? And um, yeah, this is where what you will automatically get when you uh, do the other cards, the, the messages from the other cards, where you um, allow the abundance in and the synchronicities, see them, begin to notice synchronicities in your life. And um, when you get this shine and when you are like the king of wands, then you will also get a automatically a, almost a uh, start to see the bigger picture. It's like um, zooming out, right? It's zooming out and uh, not having this narrow view of... Like, like, like you have blinders on and, and what you can see is very limited, your field of vision. No, all of a sudden you it's like zooming out, even like hovering above the earth maybe or our solar system, whatever, you know, and, and seeing things and, and seeing how it all is divinely connected and all works out and, and just works. It's, it's just amazing when you, when you can do that. And it doesn't mean to say about planets per se, but also why the dynamics of what's going on on the planet between um, different cultures, different governments, etc., etc. All these different topics that, that are flooding uh, the media, right, and reaching us. You can then also see how this is all divinely orchestrated and will uh, how it fits together and also how it can be resolved but that's an, in a later phase likely for most of, well i'm not saying likely for most of you that's very judgmental i don't want to do that that's when you are in this stage when you've reached that and that will be different for everyone some of you might already be there others are well on their way and um and once you're here you also get this. So, um, yeah, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonates. And thank you for listening and watching. And, um, and see you again soon. Bye. Hi, numbers two. Welcome to your reading. Your first card, Pallas Athena. Um, and she's the goddess of truth and wisdom and also a lord of karma. And she holds the sword of truth uh, to show humanity the way. And she wields her sword for the, high, uh, for the highest ideals and divine truth. But she prefers to use the uh, wisdom to settle disputes. And your guidance is to do that as well. See the higher perspective in all areas of conflict and draw on your abundance of wisdom and tact and also love and kindness, I feel, to communicate with everyone concerned if there is conflict and use the sword of truth to point the, the divine way forward. So that's a different way of trying to re re resolve um, conflict issues. And um, with your tarot cards that come up, I'm going to stick them, see if that works. We have the, the Devil and the Eight of uh, Pentacles. Yeah, the, I have to put my reading glasses on these days, right? Anyhow, uh, the Devil and the uh, Eight of Pentacles and... Here is this this uh, this link to the conflict that was mentioned there. Um, this is someone who can um, cheat or lie, deceive, try to lure you, or manipulate you, right? And and um, it doesn't have to be all as bad as that sounds. Right? Many people can uh, be subconsciously, not even deliberately, but subconsciously manipulate other people to get their way or to get things the way that it, it feels good to them and many people do that and they don't mean to hurt you or harm you 
so in that sense, they're not really devils even, you know. But uh, that doesn't mean to say it's healthy for you. Then they are just trying to get their own needs fulfilled and uh, often not aware that actually by the way they're doing it, they, they, they are manipulating other people <laughs> who then in turn are often not aware that they're being manipulated. They just use it. Um, and that's what you have to be mindful of. And that can mean that uh, y you can get in tricky situations because of that if you start to see these things happening, right? And especially because often these people don't mean to hurt you or they, 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 they aren't really bad people. They can actually love you tremendously and want the best for you. But at the same time, in the way they're acting uh, and, and treating you, they can manipulate you. And uh, again, this can be very subtle, in subtle ways that you have to really look for to begin to see. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of, for instance, with a parent or maybe a colleague or a friend even, you know, it doesn't have to be really the bad people on the planet who do this at all. And um, But become aware of that because I do feel also with your other cards, that it is important that you start to follow your own path, your own inner guidance, and not what is actually uh, from, this is the external mostly, right? Um, what other people make you feel, think, uh, believe, or whatever, you know? That, uh, but start listening to your own inner guidance, your own, the, yeah, that's what this, the, the Earth Star Chakra is about as well. It's trying to guide you towards what you need to do, towards your true north in this life. And um, that's what it wants to come up for you. That's what this reading is about. That really, really wants to come up. And if you indeed notice people or situations like this that are manipulative or, uh, well, basically not for your highest good, that's what it comes down to, um, then do, resolve it, deal with it this way. So don't go in there like a raging bull, all angry or maybe uh, hurt or upset or anything. That's not, then you get action reaction. It's not going to work. Uh, just try to have a more calm, peaceful uh uh, way of going about it and see the higher perspective of things, right? Don't use the sword to, to because that's going to hurt, right? Then you get a reaction again. Use your wisdom, use your insight, use your heart, your inner guidance. And that's not always easy, but it is possible. And especially with this card coming up for you, you can do that. Just trust in that. You can do that. And um, then we have from the color therapy cards, Azure uh, Blue. I'll move, remove this one. It's just going to fall over. And then we have the glare. And that says protect yourself. And I feel that's uh, from this entire message here. You have to begin to see that this is happening in some area of your life. Maybe it's only just the one person. It can be your mother, your father, a colleague. It can be anyone. It can even be your partner. Even, like I said, uh, don't stop looking for, for nasty, bad people. It can be someone, and uh, it very often is someone that actually loves you to death. <laughs> right? It's just they're not. Um, uh, they're dealing with their own inner child issues, and they haven't resolved it. And as such, they come up with this kind of behavior that they want to want you to go this this path, follow that path because that makes them feel good. But that path is not your path, right? And you have to follow your path. You have to do your thing. What makes your light glow and shine, and then you can cultivate it and grow it and. You know, you're, this she's doing her thing, Pentacles Eight. She's learning about that. She's perfecting it, fine tuning it. It's, but it's really her thing in life, and that's what you have to do. That's what wants to come up for you. And then we have your other color card. Um, I'm gonna remove that one. 
it's rose. I have to admit, I didn't pull that. Uh, it didn't fly out or whatever with, with shuffling. This is a card, a color that came up intuitively for your reading, Rose. And it just fortunately happens to be in the deck. Uh, so I, I went through the deck to find it so you can see the color. It's not normal red. It's a different type of red. It's more pinkish red. And of course, this is about love, attracting love, giving love. But what I also feel with this when I was just looking at it and... Yeah, that's the way a rose is shaped. It's like a spiral, right? It's going in, it's going in, it's going deeper and deeper. And that's about your journey. Of, 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 basically, it's the journey of what she's doing here, of fine-tuning, of finding who she is, what she wants to do, where she wants to go, how she wants it done. And that's the journey inward, 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 inward deeper into your heart, into love, into your passion and that, yeah. So um, that's it. Jeez, that went fast. I, that's what I have for you. I hope it resonates and thank you for watching and listening. And if you like the reading, if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe to it. That helps my uh, videos come up higher in YouTube so other people can find them easier as well. Uh, anyway, have a wonderful day and um, I'll be back again soon. Bye! Right, uh, numbers three, welcome to your reading. And uh, I'm really excited because so much good things are coming up with all sets, but also with yours, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Your first two cards, tarot cards, we have uh, the moon. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. And um, I just love this moon card, actually. Um, there is a lot wanting to come up or already coming up in you intuitively, spiritually, uh, insights, uh, just ideas out of nothing, just also feeling, feelings. And it's just all about intuition, right? The moon is feminine energy also if you're a man or more a mask it doesn't matter it's not gender uh you know it doesn't it doesn't uh yeah it, it it's just men also have feminine energy so it's just for everyone it's feminine energy it's it, intuition it's feeling it's yeah insights and going with the flow and the moon and all that and uh, there is a lot coming up for most of you right now, or if not, if you're not noticing it, maybe you need to take more time to be, uh, well, just quiet, peaceful, and not in your head. Get out of your head so it can come up, so you can become more aware of it. And uh, Or it is wanting to come up. That's also possible. That is not really happening yet but this is what wants to come up for you and then there's the next thing with the nine of pentacles we see this i love this pentacle uh, suit in this card deck tarot deck uh, what is important then is to not just have this happen and uh, stay in this phase and linger in this phase because it's a bit it's a bit misty and intangible and it's just dreamy and, and and that's great, that's wonderful. But you can basically also stay there too long. And yeah, what use is that if you're not doing anything with it, right? You, so the message then is you have to make it practical. You have to um, earth it, ground it. Also in your own body, in your life, you have to do something with it. Either that's why you get these insights and that's why you why you have this intuition so strongly come up right now or wanting to come up right now. And uh, this is not something for just this moment. This is really a big thing. This is um, part of you because this is a major arcana card. So this is bigger than the other cards in the tarot, right? And I really feel that. This is not just now. 
it is wanting to come up now maybe you have never really allowed it to surface but it really wants it wants to pop up and out like a fountain it's like if you, maybe you've been suppressing it or something, maybe not, or maybe you have uh, not worked with it for years because maybe you were raising a family or busy with your career, it doesn't really matter, but it needs to come out now. It's it's about to kind of explode out of your earth star chakra, up and up and up. But it is part of you. This is not going away. This is you, who you are. So you shouldn't suppress it and, and try to not be that person because it is who you are. It's just you have to do something with it. So you have to take this with you into the daily life, the normal day-to-day -day life, so to speak, and do something with it. Make it practical, make it tangible, make it, um, yeah, do something with it and ground it. So it gets out of this dreamy state, like, yeah, grounded in your, like I said, also in your body. And um, that also comes up in your other card. We have this, your first color card is this, uh, I did not shuffle for that card. So, but it is typical, the, uh, the message on it, I will uh, read it to you. Uh, I felt very, very strongly that you needed the color moss green. Um, that, that moss, that velvety moss that can grow on tree trunks that have fallen down or something. You know, it's, I think it's more like that color, really, and not like, like this here. But anyhow, moss green is moss in the deck, and this was the closest to it, so I took this out. But the message on this card is remarkable for the reading. It says, take action. And that's what I've just told you. You have to do something with it. You have to take action, make it practical, make it tangible, you know, ground it. So you have to take action. So it's amazing that that comes up. Then the other color card we have is um, lilac, and that says, I have to get it closer with my reading glasses, yeah, strengthen your um, faith and trust. And that can be necessary for you if you are uh, in the that more dreamy, phase of the moon and maybe you are a bit nervous or a bit anxious about doing this coming out in the open right this is something you can do indoors no one sees it no one knows about it it's just your almost like a secret right and here people can see it they can feel it they can tell the, you have to come out in and and that can be really scary. So you have to get, uh, well, work on your confidence, on your belief as well. Your belief in yourself, your belief in your abilities and trust and have faith and cultivate that. Let that grow. Work on that. And then we have your last card, which is uh, Archangel Metatron's cloak. And... Um, he is connected to the, the twin flame of Archangel Sandalfon, who is in the charge of the uh, Earth Star Chakra, which is what this reading is about. So it's beautiful that this comes up. <clears throat> um, his color is a golden orange, a deep, warm, golden, yellow, orange kind of. That's his color. Um, uh, and there is, of course, it, if you can read the entire text if you wish, you can pause if you hear uh, a link to Hollow Earth, and the uh, Earth Star Chakra is also linked to Hollow Earth, right? It's yeah, it's like a circle, uh, it's a coming full circle, and wearing this cloak will help you guide other people on their ascension path, and you are called. Uh, on to do that 
empower people to see who they are and what they can do. And for that, you have to, again, take action. Uh, that's what it said here, take action. And this is why we see that coming out, doing it, making it visible. <clears throat> Sorry, making it tangible, being it, embodying it, anchoring it, grounding it, showing it. And by that, you also then uh, empower other people to do that. Because if you do it, if you dare to live it, um, your dream, your passion, your uh, everything, and, and, and be yourself, which is uh, this, the moon intuitive and sensitive and insights etc etc that's what's behind it for you then if people see you live that and daring to do that and just doing it being bold and and being happy and shining and living your purpose that will automatically um, make people well inspire people to do the same it's like, wow, maybe I can do that as well. And it doesn't even have to be on a conscious level. It, it will subconsciously do something with other people. And you can also maybe somehow feel that a number of you are called to do more than just that. I feel a number of you at least are called to do... Um, more specifically, like like spiritual teaching, insp inspirational speaker, or give workshops, or whatever it is, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, spiritual workshops or stuff. It can also be maybe that you uh, do that by uh, painting or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever it is that is your passion, right? It's different for everyone. In any case, this is what I have for you. I do hope it resonates, of course, and thank you for watching. And if you liked it and like my channel and my own my energy, then please, please, please subscribe to my um, channel. And uh, that helps my me to come up higher in YouTube so more people can find my work. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.